Uh, recently it was my daughter's birthday party and we had a rectangular cake that needed to be divided between seven people but it's quite hard to actually make seven even cuts and my daughter had a really good idea about how to do that. Her idea was to first of all cut it into eights, give every, all of the seven people one slice and then to divide the remaining bit between eight again and keep doing that process. And this is another example of what's called a geometric series. Um, I'm going to show you the same thing here with the cake that I made earlier, but I'm going to, instead of dividing it into eight, I'm going to divide it into four. And the idea is that if I cut it in quarters, then I can do that same thing again. So I divide it into four, and then I take three of those slices and give those to the people at my birthday party. And if I do the same thing again and divide the bit that's left into four, I can give three of those bits to the people at the party, and then I can divide it again into four and give each person a quarter, and then I can keep on doing this. And at the end, I'm guaranteed that everyone will have got exactly one third of the cake. Okay, and actually this is a technique that will work regardless of uh, how many people you need to divide the cake by. If you have to divide the cake by n people and you can divide it easily into n plus one slices, you give each of the n people one slice and divide the last one into n plus one again and keep going. That will work uh, and it will give everyone exactly one over n of the cake. The question is whether you think it's a bit of a crummy method for dividing a cake.